So the end of Piggy chapter 9 kind of went a little bit like this. So Rash has a friend that is no longer here that he is trying to cure. Now who is that friend? Well in today's video I think that I could be pretty accurate as to who that is going to be. But in today's video we are also going to be going through a few notes that did actually appear in the refinery that were extremely vague to the point where this could actually mean that Tigri is going to be the evil one. Now like I've said in a few videos before there are going to be quite a few theories coming out this week so if you want to subscribe to the channel then make sure to do so and again if you don't like my videos you can always unsubscribe later down the line also if you could be using starcode antics when you're buying robux or premium that would be amazing i still get these emails every wednesday telling me how many of you guys do actually use my star code and i really appreciate it it really puts a smile on my face so so Tigri has a friend. He has a friend that he wants to try and cure. He wants to find the vaccine, the cure. He's trying to make us get away from Willow to join his like army, his kind of group. He wants us to try and leave Willow behind because that he believes that she is the evil one. Now before I even carry on with this video, I'm going to put it right here, right now. Tigri is evil. I'm literally going to say it right now. I really think Tigri is going to be the evil one. I feel like that he's had quite a few issues in the past, which again, we're going to be o going over in today's video. He's had these issues that potentially has pushed him over the edge to maybe just destroy humanity. And so I'm going to take you to a note now that does appear in the refinery. It, it actually appears in the site manager's office, which if you guys didn't know, that means that Tigri was in fact the site manager because there was actually three notes in this room that was signed by Tigri. Now the first one can be found very simply on the desk. And this one says, my parents were never proud of me. I was always hurt and bossed around by everyone around me. I could be so much more useful to the group if they just gave me a chance. Tigri. So of course this means Tigri has been basically bullied in the past by his parents. His, his parents, it sounds as though his parents didn't even like the guy. I mean it is quite extremely deep the fact that Tigri's parents just did not like their own child. So potentially that has started this thing that's been going on in Tigri's brain that he, he, he's not happy. He doesn't like being bossed around. He doesn't like being bullied. So he's going to be the one that wants to be on that pedestal further down in his lifetime. So keeping that in mind, I'm now going to take you to another note, another note that is extremely vague, vague to the point where this could actually mean a very, very nice thing or this could literally mean a very, very evil thing. And I'm going to explain why. So this one can be found just on top of the medicine like cabinet type thing, which is in the same room. And it's quite a difficult one to get a like angle off. So this one is a bit of a weird angle. But this one says, all I need is an opportunity to prove my worth, to rise above the rest. Then they'll see how impactful I can be. I'll let no one and nothing stop me from getting there. So this again could mean one or two things. This could mean that Tigri is trying to work his way up through the TSP rankings and he's trying to prove his worth against the TSP. That's what everybody assumed at the time. It looked as though he was trying to prove himself to the TSP. But for me now with everything that has come out in chapter 9, I do believe that this could actually mean something pretty evil. Now linking back to the other like note where he was basically speaking about being bullied by his parents and his parents didn't even like him and they weren't even proud of their own child. All I need is an opportunity to prove my worth, to rise above the rest. Now, why does he want to rise above the rest? Then they'll see how impactful I could be. Now, that to me now sounds like a challenge. It sounds like almost a threat as if like, I, I just need that opportunity to prove that I am worth so much more than absolutely everybody else. And when I get there, you're going to see how much damage I can seriously do. That's why to me that this note right here sounds like a challenge. It sounds like he's telling himself that he is soon in his lifetime going to be on that pedestal 
on top of that pyramid above the rest. And again, he then goes on to say, I'll let no one and nothing stop me from getting there. So he's finding this courage, he's finding this fire from inside, where he's basically saying, you know what? I don't care that my parents don't like me. I don't care that Willow wants to bully me around the TSP. I don't care that I'm at the bottom of this kind of like TSP group right now. But one day, I will be at the top and I will be very impactful. So that's why these notes sound pretty crazy. Now I've still got two more notes to show to you guys now and the fact that we got this cutscene at the end of chapter 9 where it goes on about Tigri's friend, I think I know who that friend is and that's because of this note that is inside of the refinery which reads out saying, they all took one look at me and just threw me away like I was nothing to them. Not rash, though. We were alike. We were friends. And of course, then it's signed by Tigri right at the bottom. So again, this really proves the point that, you know, people are just looking at them and just saying, you know what, Tigri, you're not enough. You're not going to be any good for us. And this is, this is building a rage inside of Tigri. And I feel like this rage is going to be something pretty big. Now, of course, at the end of the chapter nine cutscenes, Tigri goes on to speak about this cure. He wants us to leave like Willow to try try and help him find the cure and he does say that he wants to try and find this cure to try and save his friend well rash though we were alike we were friends and again i feel like this note could actually mean something else very vague so the thing that i'm going to highlight in this note is we were alike now again this is vague it doesn't say how they were alike were they alike because you know they were bullied and they were thrown away and they were taken one look at them and their parents weren't proud of them or does this mean that we were alike like we want to be at the top one day we want to be up there we want to be at the top of that pyramid and this is also again a note that is signed by Tigri where he says that him and Rash we were friends so I'm linking the two and two together this note and also the end cutscenes that did happen in Piggy chapter 9 that he wants to try and save his friend he wants to try and find this cure to save his friend I feel like this is only speaking about Rash and at the time Rash actually decided that he was going to try and make us pay but Willow did tell him to stand down so does that mean that Rash was trying to prove his point as well was he trying to move up on us to try and prove his worth and could that have actually built a rage inside of Rash where he maybe went and uncovered a tomb or something and began a whole curse inside of the piggy universe so whatever has happened now Rash is not with us this kind of gives us some confirmation that Rash is either infected or potentially he has done something with the insolence which has made him this evil guy does that mean that Rash is going to be, you know, the, the boss at the end of chapter 12. Again, we're going to have to wait and find out. But there is one more note that I do want to just bring up just to keep at the back of our minds. Now, although I do believe that this end cutscene does mean that Rash is Tigri's friend, this could also mean that Foxy could well have been Tigri's friend as well. So there is another note that says, hey, what happened to Foxy? I kind of liked that guy. Was he relocated as well? Now, of course, this one isn't really signed by Tigri. Does that mean that this one isn't signed by Tigri? Does that mean that Tigri was friends with Foxy? Well, potentially. So maybe he's speaking about Foxy, but I personally don't think so. But I wanted to put that one out there as an option. But anyway, where do you guys stand on this video? Do you think that I'm pretty accurate with what I'm saying here? Do you think that Tigri is going to be the evil guy at the end? Or do you think that he's just trying to be a good guy, trying to save, you know, Rash? Me personally, I believe that Tigri could potentially actually be the bad guy. I think that the, the notes were that vague that, you know, they, they didn't actually really explain an awful lot. They were very much like, okay this guy's being bullied and he's trying to work his way up through TSP but it didn't actually say that it could actually just literally be okay this guy is being bullied but he has a rage inside him and he's really wanting to work his way up the pedestal so that one day he's not going to be that guy that's being bullied and he's going to be the guy that's doing the bullying. So again, a pretty crazy theory, a theory that I've been working on over the last days so that I've tried to kind of bring it out to you guys in the best way possible and I hope I've managed to do so. But anyway, guys, again, if you want to be seeing more videos over the next coming weeks, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and again, you can always unsubscribe later if you don't enjoy the content. But anyway, that's going to be it from me today. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video and we shall see you guys in the next one.